<laughs> Praise the Lord. That's a knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother June. Brother and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Galatians chapter 1. We'll be looking at verse 10, and it reads, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever present. Our brothers and sisters, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in um, Galatians chapter 1, verse 10, the apostle Paul says, For do I now persuade men or God? And when the apostle Paul is talking about, in, in this respect to men, he's talking about a certain mankind's system, mankind's mindset, and, and or God. Or do I seek to please men? And then, so then, in this instance, when he says to seek to please men, he's speaking to uh, about mankind. And, 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 and so, and so for if I yet please men, in general, I should not be the servant of Christ. And so when he speaks about men the, the, the first time, again, this man attitude, this man kind of system where, where he says, for do I now persuade men this this, and what, how do men, what, what's men's the system and the attitude and the, the, the mindset that they have? They, they want to do it, man, they want to do it by forms of legalism. Legalism, that, that, that form of, of man-made rules that they put high above the things of God. And, you know, religion, legalism, uh, man-made rules. Where, where it ain't got no power of salvation, it ain't got no uh, um, spiritual or supernatural trans, well, formative uh, 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 quality or nature to it. It's just just man-made religion and, 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 and trying to do it on the terms of man and, and legalism. And, 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 and the Apostle Paul said, being persuaded by that, or how about another kind of thinking that man has by, by man's perfectionism, by man being perfect on their own, where man, what they do is they put the burden on themselves and then they have this self-made standard that, that, that they put up that's not of God and by, by being perfect on their own. And with this self-made standard that man has, when when they fail and they see the futility in it and 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 and, and, they, and they they just fall apart by doing by being perfect or trying trying to do it through legalism or or of religion that that's that's you know man made and when they you know when they fall short when they come short of that and and and, and what 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 happens they go to a more and more downward spiral by doing that way by doing the forms of legalism, uh, man-made religion, or um, man's making their their standard based on perfection uh, uh, when it comes to man. And then we see the Apostle Paul then goes on and says, or do I seek to please men? By, by whether they do it by, you know, by man-made religion or a self-made standard that man has, has, has put to, to stand for perfection and, and doing that way, through pleasing men that way, to trying to, to please men that way. You know, in the Bible, in uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25, the, 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 the proverb writer Solomon gives this wise uh, uh, advice in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25, where he says, for the fear of man leads to a snare. The fear of man trying to do it by legalisms of religion, trying to do it by the man's uh, self-made perfection. It leads to a snare. But then he goes on to say this, but he that trusts in the Lord shall be safe. And that's where safety is in. 
not not trying to you know, the doing through man by by legalism, form of man made religion, or or you know, or um, through man trying to be perfect on their own, like self made standards of man. But when when you when you fear man, when you fear man trying to please man on on, on those terms, it's a it's a setup for a trap. But when you trust the Lord, Proverbs chapter twenty nine verse twenty five. You'll be safe. And so he says, for if I please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So when it comes to, to, to serving, to be a servant of the Lord, we, we the, the, the Bible tells us that in Romans chapter six, verse 14, for we are no longer under the law, but we are under grace. And so we, 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 we come under that. And then when it talks about you know, the, the perfection, now we're trying to get, you know, perfect in man's standard, but we're perfect in Christ. Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 says that we are perfect in Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and true coming King Jesus Christ. And then when we have that mindset, when we have that mindset, now we, 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 we're not trying to, to, to be man pleasers, but we know who we are in Christ and what we have in Christ Jesus. Now we can be God pleasers because we realize that where we stand, we're perfect in Christ. We're no longer under the law, but we're under grace. And then when we know that, we don't have to be the fear of man, but we could have the fear of the Lord where we'll be safe. And when we're that, then we will be the servants of his son. Our Lord, our Savior, and soon to come King Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance. You may the Lord give you speech. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and in heaven. To those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And not to him that is able. To keep you from falling and present you faultless in the presence of his God. Both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. You don't need no legalism. You don't need no man's perfectionism. You don't need to try to be uh, ple man pleasing to, to, to people. You just know who you are in Christ Jesus. Know what you have in Christ Jesus. And when you know that with, and, 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 and come and acknowledge that. You are in a position to be a servant of his son, our Lord, our Savior, and soon to come to King Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We serve a good God. <laughs> and his name is Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs>